I am Lieutenant Colonel Richard Brown. I work uh, for the Air Force for 19 years and I transferred to the Space Force in 2021. I'm a systems engineer and with that I've had a lot of space related jobs so I'm currently assigned to the Space Development Agency with the Pentagon. The big thing about chess is that, um, and the reason that I really play it and study it and like to listen to commentary and the whole nine yards is there's, there's a certain type of attitude that you need to be a good chess player. You need a determination to understand um, and predict the future and just that interaction of not being 100% sure what the other, what your opponent's going to do. And with that, there's the tension with the time control and how much time you get to, to play. It teaches you a logical train of thought. And so there's so much about chess that, and just games in general that you can bring into the real world. When you think about chess and military, uh, chess is a, is a strategy game. Uh, that's been going on for a very long time. The rules have changed over thousands of years, but it is still fundamentally the same game and it's supposed to teach strategy. Um, that's part of why we think it's fun. Uh, with the military mindset, the real thing that it helps with in the modern day is understanding that not all options are available to you. Uh, when, you when I play chess, there's probably 15 things I would like the position to look like, but only certain of those are even in the realm of possibility with the position that's on the board right now. It's what is your actual objective with the game. There are people that I play that are so much better than me that it's not a question of whether I win or lose. I'm going to lose. So the question is, my objective at that point is, can I make this game last longer? Can I? get to at least a middle game that is even with this person, right? Like it's it's whatever your own personal challenge is. And the military is really big into that. It's not just that you're fighting for your country and you're going to go defend everything. It's also what's your personal challenge? What, what can you take away from the military to make you a better person? And chess is definitely like that in the sense that the way you play can teach you things about what it's like to be a good person. Like, you can't take a move back, right? If you choose to fire a weapon, you can't take that back. Um, and that kind of decision-making that's permanent and it has consequences whether you like them or not is, is the way chess is played. Chess is another way to learn military values like service before self um, in maybe organizing a chess tournament um, instead of playing um, excellence in all we do. Everyone's trying their best to play their best game. Um, and I just think those those values are, are something that anyone interested in the military in any way, shape, or form can learn those sorts of things through playing chess. I'm never gonna be the guy that runs the fastest. I didn't, I, I'm not that guy, but I am the guy who's, who could maybe outthink you on a chessboard. And, and that's my, you know, my area of excellence. And so I'm gonna take that with me and I'm gonna do as good as I can this weekend.